Other War is a genre mashup of tower defense and bullet hell, and that is a combo I was explicitly waiting for someone to make. Ever since Survivor's games started blowing up last year, I recognized that they were scratching the same part of my brain as tower defense anyway, albeit with towers localized into a singular character. So it was with optimism that I downloaded Other War, but I'm not sure that this mashup is a fully realized one. Its bullet hell aspirations are kind of a footnote at the bottom of the tower defense rather than being a full-fledged component interwoven with it. Couple that with some reliable and intrusive bugs, and you get a game that's hard to recommend regardless of my predisposition towards it. Okay, so conundrum time before we get into the review proper. I didn't actually roll credits on Other War, not because I didn't want to, but because I consistently ran into a progress stopping bug at the end of its second of three worlds. This slime boss was one I killed three separate times and each time the game left me in an unprogressible state, waiting for two more mobs to spawn that never would no matter how long I waited. Hilariously, on a totally separate attempt, I hit a different bug on this same boss that made him undamageable both by me and by my towers. It's a bug ridden encounter that lies in contrast to the relative unbuggy rest of the game, and it's with that in mind that I'm writing for probably two different audiences here. For folks watching this at the time of upload, the game isn't one I can recommend at all. Steam discussions suggest I'm not the only one having this problem, so I suspect it will be fixed, but I can only review the game in front of me and not a hypothetical future version of it. So if you're here from this hypothetical future and you see a patch note that specifically confirms this encounter has been fixed, I still don't think Other War is a slam dunk recommendation as much as it is a cautious one if you really like tower defense. In Other War, you play as an angel who is protecting the gates of heaven against the forces of hell, and that protection comes in one of two ways, the building of fortifications that auto-shoot the incoming mobs, as well as the angel himself who can fire small damage bullets while flying. And therein may lie my greatest disappointment with Other War. Despite the mid-mission upgrading options and between-mission skill trees, your angel isn't going to ascend far above his kind of pathetic starting form. Your little pea shooter can get its damage increased by like 30% within a mission and you can even get a spread shot once you've progressed far enough. But the apex of your power will still be comparable to a single maxed out basic turret, meaning that your avatar is more of a liability to your tower defending than he is an asset towards it. The gates of heaven have their own health bar, but should your angel hit zero, the gates take some damage too in order to revive him. He acts as a secondary externalized health bar which brings importance to the bullet hell. The enemy mobs, in addition to their genre expectation of walking straight towards your base, also fire projectiles to be dodged, typically different projectiles depending on their unit type. Winning strategies will involve flying around to avoid the hail of bullets while ensuring you have fortifications strong enough to combat the horde. There's no proximity from your angel required for him to build or upgrade towers, which kind of leaves you playing the same sort of god figure handling everything important with your cursor, with the angel's only relevance being reactive. With the exception of a few unique towers, like the one that shoots down enemy projectiles to make your bullet helling easier, the game is fundamentally a conventional tower defense to its core, just one that gives you something insignificant to do with your hands while the turrets take care of the real game for you. So how is that tower defense? It's decent if unremarkable. Other War is a short game. If this map that I can't finish is anything to be believed, there's only like 9 levels with most of the replayability coming by virtue of varying mid-mission objectives and harder difficulties to do them on. Within each mission you can bring half of the game's 10 towers, each with different costs and importantly each carrying a different cap to prevent you from flooding the map with old reliable. Tower diversity hits your standard genre beats, area damage towers, slowing towers, and economy towers. In short, if you've played a tower defense game, you've played this before. It's too paint by numbers to carry the game where its core bullet help promise falls flat. With short-term and long-term progression that always keeps power disproportionately on your towers, the introduction of an avatar to control during the game is just one more way to lose rather than a new way to win. Because Other War isn't a tower defense genre mix as much as it is a tower defense with a gimmick, its duration is too short and its focus is too narrow for the core design to be this uninteresting. Its glaringly obvious game-breaking technical flaws act as a lightning rod for criticism, but shouldn't distract from the fact that the game would have been a tough sell even without them. 